Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our first workshop of the day and with the theme of Infinite API Accelerator. Let me first invite our moderator for the session, Mr. Ashutosh Dubey. He's the lead business analytics uh, National Payments Corporation of India, that is NPCI. And for the workshop, first we have Mr. Arif Khan. He is the Chief Digital Officer from NPCI. Our next speaker is Mr. Iman Faraz. He is the Lead Startup Engagement from NPCI. And our next speaker is Mr. Ankit Jain from Seema Technologies. And finally, we have Mr. Sagar Watts from Army Institute, Pune. Over to you, Mr. Dubey. Thanks, Yuan. So, good evening, everyone. I'm Ashutosh. And uh, today, we are conducting a workshop on our API Accelerator platform. We have called it Enfinite uh, because we are seeing the growth of API marketplace is uh, tremendous in this fintech ecosystem. The plan is to uh, bring startups, developer, fintechs in this platform and help the community to not only leverage um, to develop more products around it, but to contribute to this ecosystem as well. Uh, with me, um, my teammate, uh, Mr. Eman is also there. So uh, what we'll do, we'll first start with the video about the platform. It will give you the glimpse of what we are trying to do with this platform. Then uh, I'll invite our CDO, uh, Mr. Arif Khan. He can uh, give us some of the guidance uh, to the community. Uh, after that, Eman will explain you about this platform, how we can uh, bring the guys. Uh, API consumers, API providers, and how we can collaborate uh, between both the parties. Then we have two more special uh, team, extended team, which I'll say for the part of innovation, where uh, one of the, uh, where Ankit basically is a FinTech developer, FinTech uh, community uh, member. He developed products around the APIs and uh, delivered to the community. Sagar is also there with us. The, fourth year engineering student and he also used this platform to develop a solution for one of our hackathons. So I'll start with the video and uh, let's see. Financial services across the globe are beginning to get disrupted at an unprecedented rate. The unbundling and rebundling through these intermediaries has enabled better quality and reach of all types of financial services. The Indian landscape, with its huge underbanked and underfinanced population, presents an opportunity for the ecosystem to innovate and develop products to cater to the diverse needs of India. Today, financial inclusion is not just a dream, but a reality within our grasp. Digitalization has led to rapid spread of financial services across regions and communities. The forward looking approach of the government and regulators in providing finance to one and all has been ways for fintechs to accelerate their growth. Players across the spectrum have transitioned from a captive to a collaborative approach, and the ones who are able to build modular technology stacks, collaborate, and develop products together have been able to more effectively scale up. The synergies thus achieved have led to greater efficiency in the market, faster go to market times, and better customer satisfaction. Currently, any vendor Third-party app developer or startup has to approach the bank for any new product or functionality released. The bank then sign up with the entity to provide services and assist them with relevant document and technical specs to initiate development. After development and initial driver, the entities then approach the bank for an end-to-end -end testing. The entire process is very cumbersome and lengthy which has a direct impact on the expansion of their products and new use cases. Welcome to the world of API Accelerator, the one-stop solution for all financial API needs. API Accelerator is National Payments Corporation of India, that one-stop platform for functional APIs from different service providers in the fintech space. It provides a developer environment for participants to come together access all relevant APIs in one place, collaborate, and build innovative solutions. 
you can get access to MPCI beta product APIs along with a host of other banking APIs. Subscribe to your choice of APIs and use the platform to integrate your product with the system and deliver it as per your requirement. The process to use the platform and registrate with Enfanide is very simple. Provide basic details like your name, email and phone number to get started. Sign into the Enfanide with your login credentials to access API options. Select the API of your choice and subscribe to them. You can check whether the APIs you have subscribed for have been authorized on your dashboard. To explore the APIs, generate a token, view request code, endpoint URL, attributes of API, and get response in the desired language. You can also download the documentation for in-depth understanding of how to use APIs, its feature, and what is the output expected in the form of response code and error code. On the platform, you will also have access to the community, a pool for developers, and with players registered with Infinite. With Infinite, you can even host your own APIs on the platform. All you have to do is to list your API under the relevant head and provide the description of your API and relevant swagger files for the same. What's the benefit to API providers? The incoming request is first authenticated and authorized. No unauthenticated request is allowed to pass through. The API providers only need to expose their API to Enfinite. Any further opening is not required. Full auditing capabilities are included for analysis. Get access to the wide range of users who visit the portal. Stay updated with the latest trends in the fintech space. Get access to our partner showcases. Subscribe to our newsletter today. Come, join us and let us facilitate your growth. Thank you, everyone. So, um, I'd like to invite uh, our CDO, Mr. Arif Khan, uh, to say something about this platform and the vision which NPCI has with respect to this platform. Hey, uh, hey. thanks, Ashutosh, and congratulations. I think this is great. Uh, guys, I'll I'll keep it very simple and you know uh, not bore you a lot with this. I think it's very uh, you know with, with NPCI our mission and vision is very straightforward, right? To enable India to make India digital, and the way we look at it ourselves and the role that we play is to create the right kind of railroads and platforms, and enable uh, young startups, fintechs, new age entities to come and evolve and give great customer experiences, create value added solutions, and different kind of flows and take it to the different segments and different use cases, different value added services. Uh, keeping this in mind, obviously UPI has been one of the key products along with this unique four party model that we've seen a lot of interest being generated in the FinTech and startup in the new age community. And that's where Infinite, uh, what we mean by that, there is infinite possibilities. We believe by working with uh, all these young organizations, the end product, what the customer experiences has infinite opportunities for improving and giving much more value added than we could have ever imagined, right? We believe at NPCI that while we have done the railroad, there is so much more to learn from organizations like yourselves, which are working very closely with either other businesses or directly facing consumers, that together we can work and improve and you know make it better and more efficient. So thank you very much for taking time and joining this session. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, uh, would like to leave you with a thought that at NPCI, we are always very eager and happy to work and to discuss with your ideas and uh, help you with in any way we can. So feel free to reach out to us anytime. Uh, you know, at times we are bogged down with too many com too much communication or too many requests coming in. So perhaps at times we'll take a day or two to revert back to you. But rest assured, we will connect with you. You know, we will ensure that you are satisfied. We will ensure that all the support that you require, okay, what can be made possible will be given to you. So thank you very much. Ashutosh, back to you. So sure. thank you, sir. Thank you for your guidance. I'll request Eamon to uh, give an overview of the platform. Hi, thank you, Ashutosh. Uh, thank you, Arif, sir, for your word. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Eamon Taz, the startup engagement leader in CCI. And I'm proud to announce uh, uh, this platform that we're calling as Infinite. Uh, so we, uh, it's it is basically an uh, API sandbox marketplace where we seek to promote collaboration between uh, 
fintechs as well as banks and other large FIs in the overall financial ecosystem. Uh, we will, we plan to host APIs from all types of different entities, uh, banks, FIs, startups, large technology players, uh, to help them as and uh, collaborate with developers uh, who want to build stuff on top of any type of financial APIs in India. So our aim is to become a one-stop shop for uh, anyone who wants to experiment with any type of financial API in India. So we've uh, sort of launched uh, um, an MVP of this platform where we are currently hosting uh, two of our own product APIs as well as APIs from four of our partner uh, banks and startups. Uh, and we hope to scale up uh, much larger this uh, this year. Ashish, can you move ahead? Next slide. Yeah, so this is the basic, the yeah, next slide. Yeah, so this is the basic construct of our uh, platform. On one side, you have uh, all the API providers, basically anyone who wants to come and host APIs on a platform, uh, they're welcome to any kind of, uh, uh, for hosting any kind of financial services APIs. And on the other, uh, on the other end, you can have uh, fintechs, aggregators, uh, even large BFS players and individual developers who want to access and build anything on top of uh, these APIs. Next slide. Yeah, and uh, let's, yeah. So the the basic problem, a little bit about the, what the problem that we're trying to solve, is, right? Uh, so earlier, uh, say a few years ago, if you wanted to build something on top of uh, someone else's uh, tech stack, you had to approach their product or business team. Uh, maybe submit them a proposal, like explain to them what you want to do. You would have to create a business case, get that approved and then move forward for implementation. And uh, in, in a lot of times, uh, you, there would be technical snags and the whole project would go kaput. So, but nowadays we are starting to see a lot of uh, banks, fintechs, all kinds of entities uh, setting up their developer portals and exposing their uh, technical functionalities to APIs openly. And this this really helps uh, speed up the entire uh, you know uh, development uh, process, uh, helping it, uh, cut it down by from months. What we use, it used to take a year to a few days or weeks now. Um, so what and essentially what we are saying is uh, and, and even now say if you want to build something on on top of uh, financial APIs, you have all these different developer portals of individual players listed out there. What we are saying is, why don't we create a common platform where everyone in the financial ecosystem can come and host their APIs, and uh, so that anyone who wants to develop can log on to this one single portal and get access to everything uh, at one go. So that's that's the basic uh, problem statement that we're looking to tackle, and uh, yeah, and these are some of the benefits for. Uh, for uh, folks who want to host their APIs on the platform, we will provide you with uh, visibility in the fintech ecosystem, help you collaborate more effectively with, uh, with folks you want to work with. Uh, anyone can access your APIs, build prototypes on top of that, and showcase what they're building to you efficiently. Next slide. Yeah, so these are a few uh, screenshots from our portal. Uh, it, it's infinite.co.in. I put it in the comments as well. You can uh, log in and explore uh, right away or whenever you uh, want to. Next. This is what, uh, if, if uh, we, we're open to anyone uh, uh, who wishes to host their APIs on our platform, uh, we welcome you. Please uh, log into our website, check it out, and uh, write to us at uh, our email ID invitations at the npca.co.in and let us know. This is what a typical journey for anyone who post their APIs on a platform would look like. We list your APIs, uh, help you uh, provide uh, correct definitions and specs uh, and upload those on our website, uh, provide you with a dashboard to access statistics of all of your API consumers, uh, allow you to control uh, subscription requests. Um, we allow your consumers to up update and upload the, uh, whatever they've built on our platform and uh, you know showcase what they're building to you. Uh, for, 
for the, all, all consumers of APIs on a platform, it's a simple process. You come online, register uh, through a small form, tell us who you are and why uh, and what and what what you're looking to build. So you log in, you explore the repository of APIs we have, subscribe, and finally, once you utilize those and build something on top of it, showcase it to the respective API provider. Next question. Yeah, so, uh, thank you, Amit. That was all from my side. Um, if you wish to uh, explore the APIs, please uh, log. Actually, click on the link and log in uh, right now. Or if you wish to discuss anything with us, please write to us. Uh, next, I hand over to Ashwin to take it forward. So, thank you, thank you, Amit, for uh, for the presentation, and uh, it, it gives us the enrichment about the platform, what it is doing. Uh, just to inform the community, like uh, currently we have already seven products already in this platform uh, developers can come and test it uh, from the npci side uh, we have upi and pubs uh, api is already live we have one account aggregator one money is already live with us uh, and three other banks are already there in the platform so uh, so we are inviting api providers uh, currently we are running our beta phase uh, the screen which you are seeing uh, will come very uh, soon very live but still the developers can come and try and test these apis around it also um, just to uh, make you aware about this platform that uh, this platform was launched uh, in november last year and uh, we have conducted several hackathons uh, and asked participation from the community to come up and uh, develop their products around it so we have two uh, developers and uh, one is from the fintech and player, fintech side and one is from the student uh, section i'll say uh, let us, I think, let's invite them and hear it from us, uh, hear from them what is their experience with this platform. So I'll invite Ankit uh, Jain. Um, please, Ankit, you can uh, continue from here. Yep. yep. Thank you, Ashutosh. Thank you for inviting me. So hi, guys. My name is Ankit Jain. So I would like to share my experience with API Accelerator program at the Infinite Portal. So when I uh, attended the first hackathon organized by NPCI, at the end of time, I was a bit uh, confused, like, uh, how do I need to understand the UPI ecosystem? Do I need to create my own APIs? Do I need to follow some documentation? What do I need to do? Then later, what we realized, like NPCI is already offering an infinite portal where they are created certain API and documentation that can be directly leveraged without even worrying about the backend system. So I started uh, drilling down that particular uh, infinite portal. And what I found, like there was a clear end-to-end -end documentation was available. So for UPI and FastTech documentation were also available, which uh, was taken into consideration which I recently used in my uh, recent hackathon. So at this point of time, I have used uh, Infinite Portal in four of my hackathon. And uh, at that point of time, I was using the UPI uh, ecosystem. So basically what I have used in the recent hackathon was NETC. And uh, there was some component was also available for the UPI. So what I did, I created an end-to-end -end flow uh, at the at uh, NPCI Infinite Portal, uh, what uh, Eamon just mentioned, the, with the, using the same flow. And then, I what I did, I picked NETC as a theme and I was going through with the end-to-end -end documentation. So the end-to-end -end documentation was available over there because whenever we are implementing something, we need to be assured ourselves like what is the uh, current approach, like uh, how the data is flowing, how we are implementing. To be compliant, uh, it, it is required and mandatory to understand like how the particular functionality is working. So Infinite Portal actually gave me a kind of a glimpse and an understanding like uh, how can I leverage the existing functionality and can implement that particular thing. So based on that particular understanding, I used uh, the couple of APIs and the couple of uh, uh, portion over there. And based on that, I implemented this technical architecture where uh, I was using the API platform. Apart from that, I created a couple of uh, uh, internal APIs and created a kind of an ecosystem with Redis and some technology aspects for making the overall uh, architecture a bit faster. So the API platform actually helped me to understand everything in an effective way. So the end-to-end -end documentation was also been available in a form of versions. So that was helping me to uh, relate like how the current process is going on. So as you can see, like uh, in that particular say, there are four entities which is already been there. NETC server, acquirer bank, issuer bank, and toll plaza. So when I was implementing, so I was in a, a dilemma like, do I need to create everything by my own? But using this particular platform actually helped me to solve that particular problem. So Ashutosh, can you change this slide? Yeah. So if you see the product part, so what I did uh, using that particular ecosystem, 
I was able to develop this particular platform, and uh, the platform, uh, the solution was working really fine. Like uh, I was able to integrate it to the current NETC system, which solves a couple of problem. So using the current uh, architecture, actually, it was it helped us. It helped me actually to faster the NETC system as well. So basically, we solved two problem. First, with the data compression part, so where it was taking too long. So using the uh, new technique, uh, using the uh, on top of API SRL data, I was able to minimize that turnaround time. And apart from that, I have integrated a kind of real time solution using that particular EP ecosystem. Yeah, sure. So you can see like uh, using that particular API, that is something that uh, interesting. And uh, so whenever we are developing something for FinTech, compliance and regulation is one of the key factor which we need to consider uh, every time whenever we are developing that particular thing. So whenever I was following that particular thing, I was not worrying about the compliance part because the API which I was accessing through infinite portal was already being already was compliant and regulated. So that's why I was only and primarily focusing on the development part and the innovation part. So that actually helped me to save a lot of time and also enables me to work on the use case rather than worrying about uh, understanding the ecosystem completely end to end. So yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Ankit. Thank you very much for sharing your experience here. Yeah. I'm uh, really glad. But I hope you gave us some constructive feedback also as to how we can improve. Yep. So I'm yeah, sure so it's not all a goody goody story, right? There is a lot <laughs> for us to also improve. And uh, yep. you guys, being the young ones trying to do so many more things, uh, if not now, but perhaps later, you could circle back and you know give us suggestions. We are we would like to see how we could improve upon that. Yeah. All right. Definitely, and all the best definitely. on your journey. Take care. Take care. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, now I'll invite Sagar uh, to give to tell about his experience with respect to APIs. Sagar, over to you. Sagar, we can't hear you. Hello. Good evening, everyone. So, like as mentioned by Ashutosh Dubey, sir, that uh, NPCI has already uh, participated and uh, innovated many hackathons and have been a sponsor in many hackathons. I've also been a part of many hackathons, but was not able to utilize this infinite portal in the other hackathons. So what was happening is in my previous hackathon, I was not having the knowledge about this infinite uh, portal. So I was using the payment gateways, but in this specific ha hackathon, which was uh, organized by NPCI, we were asked to use the infinite portal APIs only. I was in a dilemma that I have never used, so will I be able to use these APIs or not? Because I have worked with the APIs, but specifically not at the uh, APIs which are live on some platform. So after that, uh, I thought let, I'll see on a later stage. Let me first focus on the solution. So like the NPCA hackathon, there were themes and I have specifically chosen the QR code expansion theme. So I had a simple idea. So this idea is being demonstrated in this slide. I'll briefly go through the idea and they'll tell you how I needed the APIs and how I integrated them. So uh, suppose this uh, yellow is a shop and the green one are the customers in the shop. So what my idea was, like in the QR code, what happens is suppose this is a restaurant, the yellow region, and these customers are sitting on their uh, tables. So uh, if the a receipt comes that you have to pay this much amount. Either they have to uh, pay through the, and if they want to pay through the QR code. So either the merchant has to establish a QR code on each of the tables on the restaurant, or the customer has to go to the central server to the manager to pay it because the QR code will be there. So this was one of the problems that I was trying to solve. What came into my mind was if there could be a way we could broadcast this QR code in this specific region. So suppose the QR code contains the UPI ID. So if that virtual payment address can be received by all of the clients in this, that would be a game changing. So these were some of the problems with the QR codes, what I have noticed. So like QR code, if it's uh, being utilized by many persons and being exchanged, we need to scan the QR code if the light conditions are not proper, then it is like a hectic task. Sometimes if we cannot see the QR code, we need to ask uh, for the QR code. And also we have, uh, we know that when it's crowded, 
it's a very hectic process to scan the QR code, tell the merchant that you have successfully paid him. And also deploying new QR codes is a, a problem. So after these uh, questions, I have finally arrived at my solution and application. Next slide, please, sir. So this was broadcaster application. What this application does is broadcast my virtual payment address in my specific shop. And what this uh, suppose the UPI applications uh, say address. So the virtual payment address has to be detected. Now the part which I was lagging was suppose the virtual payment address is received. How will uh, this merchant will be able to pay? This client will be able to pay to the merchant. So at that point, I had to go to search and print it for the specific API. Fortunately, Infinite Portal was uh, so well that it has classified all of the API separately. Because I needed the UPI API, so there was a specific section in Infinite Portal that this is the UPI uh, APIs, and here is the documentation. And also, like documentation was uh, like as a specific part. So I need not to go through the documentation. I the documentation for the specific part. Tell me that this is the endpoint project. Like in three, four pages, I uh, feature in my application with the help of the infinite. Mm -hmm. And the best thing the portal was uh, providing was inbuilt uh, testing platform. Like the APIs I am using, points given were being directly shown there. So I could test them there and then. So this was my simple solution. Now, uh, expectations of the industry with this is that we could also utilize Wi-Fi and Li-Fi technologies. We could integrate these in the big stores like Walmart, Dmart, and Big Bazaar. And also, like uh, for a specific QR code, we can pay the merchant onto his specific bank account. But with this technology, the merchant can change his bank account to receive the payment on a uh, different VPS also. And at last, that voice-based payments will be a plus on this kind of technology. So, so next slide, please. Yes. Sure. So, Sagar, um, you can tell us about uh, your feedback on the platform, like RF has asked Ankit also. So, what are the things uh, which you think uh, can be changed or can bring more uh, uh, holisticness with respect to the platform? So, what is your experience? In the last hackathon around it. Like, uh, in the testing platform, as I mentioned, that uh, Infinite is providing inbuilt uh, testing of the APIs. So, like the error response that we are getting, suppose when I was first using it, I was not able to really get what the error was. But eventually, after reading through the documentation, I was getting that this is a specific error. Like when we get an error, if we get a specific, you could do this, you will resolve the error. So that could be yes. a plus. In the end portal. Yeah, I think thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Sagar, for that feedback. In fact, uh, you know, candidly speaking, we got this uh, similar feedback from a couple of other, uh, you know, uh, you know, young startups like you. And I think uh, very soon we'll have that. And I'm really glad to see your solution idea, right? So while this is about the API accelerator, but I really like uh, the concept uh, that you're building around this, right? The orchestration that you're trying to do between the multiple elements. I think it's a uh, Really nice idea. Uh, when do we see daylight? When does it see daylight? We will really be maybe, yes, maybe uh, beta users, perhaps. Sorry, Ashutosh, you were saying? Yes, sir. So that's what I am saying. So these both guys are working with us and doing a POC with the product. Team. So we have proposed wow. it to the product team. And that's what I want to say the utility of this platform that if our idea has come up very well, we'll try to bring them and do a kind of POC if product agrees sure. with it and try to do with it. So. That's sure, the advantage sure, sure. they are bringing to the ecosystem. Sure, sure. So always there will always be a filtering process. But I think Ashutosh, you should stop calling me, sir. We should start calling them, sir. They have come up with some fantastic ideas, right? So once yes. again, uh, Sagar and Ankit, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining over there. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I just said lose the sir. Thank You're the sir, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Uh, uh, Ashutosh? Yeah. Uh, do do so, we have any questions so far? Yeah. Do you think, I think Shwani will uh, come up with uh, some of the yes, questions? Yes, uh, so we do have questions. And uh, first question is, what about UPI refund APIs? Refund and payment confirmations while paying via PSPs 
are of, often delayed by three to seven days. How does NPCI plan to make the uh, make the same better? Okay, I so think so. you have to already talked about it in your session. No, no, no. That. Sure, sure. So uh, I think the uh, I think there's a long answer to it and a short answer to the, that. Uh, right now, in this particular session and forum, we are trying to focus on the API accelerator and what is the APIs we have exposed. I think the question, and it's a very pertinent question, is for the larger UPI ecosystem and what we do. And I, if I have to redact the question, and if I want, you know, uh, uh, what it stands for is that, okay, while there is a transaction that has happened, but in case there is a life cycle event, which happens every now and then, how quickly can we fire the refund? And that's very relevant for merchants and other aggregators. I think that's a very relevant point, and I think we are building towards that. A lot of improvisation has been done. Uh, I can get into the details, but uh, perhaps uh, whoever has raised the query could connect to us offline. Uh, there's a separate stream who really focuses on only the improvisation within the UPI framework. Eventually, that improvisation uh, comes back on the API platform in terms of you know API is being exposed for someone to consume and build use cases. In fact, that also is a function of this, right? So uh, when we started off this, this journey, we got some new uh, techies and a group of bunch of young guys and girls coming together and say, hey, look, how do we solve for this with a completely different idea? So great. Uh, thanks for the question. But I, I think we can give you a more detailed answer in a separate uh, forum, if that's okay with you. And email ID is already there, so they can drop us a mail and we will sure, try sure. to uh, solve sure. the query. Sure. Second of course, of course. Yes. And second one is uh, any plans on APIs for K KYC? Can we standardize uh, KYC by using UPI's VPA to authenticate identity or bank accounts? I, I think that's a great question, but uh, I, I don't think so. We are looking at uh, UPI as a replacement or a, as a KYC tool. Uh, by the sheer fact, okay, that uh, UPI is linked to, uh, say, a virtual ID stroke uh, number, which is linked to an account, you can assume that the account is KYC'd already. Sure. But again, so I uh, also want to add. Yes, sir. Sure, sure. Sorry, uh, sure. just, just want to add on it. So basically, uh, we are calling all API providers which fulfill the Indian stack. So Indian yeah. stack includes exactly. four layers, and all those API providers which lie in that space, we will try to onboard them in this platform. That's why we have uh, talked about the API provider journey, and I'll request the guys who have some uh, APIs which are doing good in the industry, they can reach out to us. We'll connect and uh, we'll discuss about. It. Okay, by guys, we mean guys and girls both. I should yeah, remember everyone. in the last round, we had more. <laughs> okay. Uh, j just to, you know, let me try and explain this and elaborate this with a little uh, slightly different example. Hopefully, people can be patient. Just imagine this I'm a startup. Uh, you know, I, I think of an idea which I believe is great and I want to do something around wealth management or let's say more simpler mutual fund investments, right? So, if I want to do, I want to create a nice app, I know how to create those experiences. There are two, three very important, of course, there's a lot needed. I'm just trying to focus on the two, three key elements uh, which will come into play. One is I need to onboard the customer, right? Today, what happens when I want to onboard a customer, there is a KYC, there is a bank behind, and so on and so forth. So, a startup first needs to interact with them and get that part of the journey ready, right? The next thing is uh, the same player or the same startup will then try to interact with SEBI or a SEBI listed entity and try to work with them on their APIs to get the entire mutual fund transaction going. And while doing the mutual fund transaction, if you recollect what also happens is uh, you actually give something called an account number over there and you have to ensure that you are always paying through the same account number. So that's the second part of the KYC that, okay, the account that has been KYC, you only use that for the fund moment. That is the second part and the mutual fund leg. And the third leg would be that you would go to some bank and say, okay, now that I have got these two pieces, I also need to sort out how will people supply money when they want to buy a mutual fund. They have to, you know, either they give an instruction like an SIP or they do a one-time bulk purchase with a 10,000, 25,000 or Chota mutual fund that is coming into play, Chota SIP of 500. They would want to leave mandates and instructions. How do I get that done? And there is another part. You can also redeem mutual funds, right? If you look at the complete life cycle, then how do I redeem it back to the customer? How do I give him his uh, money back? Now that requires another payment link. What we are seeing is, look, we are not in the mutual fund industry directly, right? But what we will do is over a period of time, we are talking to banks. We've got a few banks who have already exposed their APIs. We'll talk to these other industries, right? which includes mutual funds, which include insurance. We'll walk to KYC providers and bring it to you on a platform. So tomorrow, if you want to create a prototype, all these three, four key essentials ingredients that are required by you on the API stack side are available to you in a single platform. 
So it's easy for you to prototype near production APIs, right? So the app that you construct, the backend that you create is as close to what you would want from a production demonstration point of view. Of course, scalability, et cetera, is something that you anyway need to plan in your life cycle. So that's the idea behind, in fact, not only our API accelerator, most API accelerators. I think the vantage point we have, having seen UPI, NDC, and so many other products, and from where we sit, we can get more entities to come and collaborate with us on the same API platform, whereby in one go, in one onboarding, just imagine if you had to go to four different platforms, do four different cycles of onboarding, four different ways of documenting things, you would have to spend so much more time just to understand rather than creating. So we're saying, hey, we'll aggregate this and try to make it simpler to work along with you. So that's the entire uh, you know concept and idea behind it. If I may share, it's a little a sneak preview what's coming post that, and this is what are the asks that we know we need to fulfill, is can we get the people to collaborate in terms of, for tomorrow, if you have a, if you have a question, right? Where do you go to get those questions answered? For example, if you have a question which is very specific to an insurance API, would you again reach out to somebody else or can we give you a tool or a platform on this platform enable you to raise questions and answers where either the community or the specialists who are the actual suppliers of that insurance API can also answer you. So I hope uh, that helps. We're really looking forward to that. Obviously it's work in progress, so it will take some time. Sorry, a long yeah. answer. Oh, sir, that defines our platform. So. Uh... Shivani, can you, can you put the next one? Yes, yes. Uh, we have last one. Are there any commercial involved uh, in listing or accessing uh, APIs via Infinite? No. So right now, there's nothing. Uh, people can come on board. We'll do uh, discuss with them, understand their proposition, and then uh, we'll allow them to list their APIs. <laughs> actually, actually the, uh, sorry, Ashutosh, you know, I, I, I get excited when we are speaking to the younger ones. Actually, there's an indirect commercial, right? If you guys make great use cases, great solutions, and you go out in the market, today UPI is doing 1.3 billion financial transactions. If I add meta transaction, it's doing another billion or so 2.3 billion transactions. Our objective is to take it to a billion a day. To take it to a billion a day, we believe that we can't do it alone, right? We need the ecosystem to come and play with us. And you people serving in different segments, different society, just the other day, uh, there is an entity called FAMPAY. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you guys heard about it. Uh, they recently launched their product, uh, which is a card without a card number. And their entire audience is about uh, young teenagers. What I mean by young teenagers is between uh, 13 to 16, who are in uh, just about finishing their 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th up to the HSC. I hope I've got the age bracket right. And when their parents send them their pocket money, how do they consume and gamification, how they save them. It's a very niche product because it's actually going for a very particular segment. And they are trying to take UPI over there. They are trying to take group over there. And the way we are looking at it, look, it's expanding into one more segment of society. These people who are young now, and if we can get a digital footprint, they start learning and saving using our products. Going ahead, when they require to do for some, you know, they want to go for future studies, they need to take some education loan, or tomorrow they, get, they want to go overseas, they want to take a loan for that. Or at a later date, when these people, they do well in life and they get you know great jobs or they become entrepreneurs and have a bunch of money to invest in, and they're using UPI or a Rupee product in that, that's the win for us. So that's our commercial interest. So it's not fair to say we don't have a commercial interest. We have a larger commercial interest in this. But we are not Thank charging you guys. Thank you for answering, sir. And uh, um, I'll, request, I'll request the API providers who are there in this forum, they can visit to our booth also. Uh, we will discuss more, in more details about it. So, it's not a problem. Thanks. I think we're just about running around out with time. So, sure, sir. I think that's that? the last question, right? Yes, sir. There, there was the last one. And thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, panelists, for this enriching session. I'd also like to thank NPCA for partnering with us for this amazing workshop. We'll take a small break for uh, for a few minutes. And I request all of you to visit our exhibition booths, check out their offerings and to rake up points which can help you win exciting prizes you can check your standing on the leaderboard on the platform so stay tuned we are signing off thank you very much and thank thanks you. for your patience thank you very much you. today bye-bye